Hello nerds, it's Joanna with another exciting episode of Whatever I Want to Play Wednesday. As per usual, we are playing Aranus, a game I found on Steam that you can find in the description box below. And as for what we did last time, I blew up a generator for an agricultural lab, which I think might make me a terrorist. Oops. Sade, my lover bot, told me that Elsa, my handler, has yet another job for me. So here I am at the local watering hole Dworkins to get that job. I got the ping saying that the power is out in most of the lab. Guess who did the job? No, it was the weather. Yeah, I... wait, only most? Huh, wait, yeah, that's odd. Should be fine. It wouldn't be enough light for a plant to grow. I sure as hell hope you're right. I still get paid, right? <laughs> Anyways, another job. You can check out the lab again later. I can, I won't. <laughs> Some gov employee's gone off on her own. You sound suspicious. She's holed up in an old office she managed with a couple anti-assassins guarding her. It really says a lot about the climate of this society that anti-assassin is a word. This will be a silent mission as well. Get spotted and you'll be executed. <laughs> no problem. And if it's not an issue, can I ask why she broke off? Good reason. Keda, you know I don't get that info. Is it only a result in sympathizing with the target? Trust me, that's that's not a concern. Huh. Alright. Guess we'll just have to ask. Now head to building 117. It's just a bit west of here in downtown. Mission is hard. Alrighty. Dark, you have anything? I think you've had enough for today. I haven't had any today. You're not my real mom. God. Alrighty. Well, let's go a little west. Trying to take protein shakes, just earn enough. Oh yeah. Super me, baby. <laughs> okay, I guess you're not much for conversation. Oh look, it even has a red carpet. How thoughtful. Welcome to the office. That plant may have an eye, but it can't see me apparently. Just as a reminder, use S to take enemy sausages when they aren't looking. Yes, Sade, I remember. Thank you, though. Um, who the ungodly hell are you? <laughs> Mission failed. Okay. <laughs> I guess she was a guard. <laughs> wank wonk. <laughs> Alright, next time on Aranus. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Sade. Shoot them while you're holding them for instant kills. Yes, I've done this before. It was just a fluke. Oh, right. Maybe if I'd waited five seconds. Die. Oh, hey, glad we had this talk. Alright, how am I gonna do this one? Do I hide behind the desk or. Alright, guess I don't hide behind the desk. Try this a third time. <laughs> yes, yes, welcome to the office. And then to my parlor so the spider to fly. I got nano machines this time. That doesn't suck. Come on, keep walking forward, you piece of crap. <sighs> oh, sometimes stealth isn't the best way to go. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be an interesting adventure. How can I see through these doors? Best not to think about that. I hope they can't see my feet, damn it! Alright, this is going to be my worst of video. <laughs>
apparently. I think the best part about this experience is how fucking long the mission failed screen takes to disappear so that it really rubs your face into your defeat. Alright. Take six. Shut up, Sade. You cannot possibly be good enough at sex to justify all this nagging. Could you could you walk forward, please? Stop. Either go back or walk into the room and investigate. This is basic fucking guard duty. Jesus Christ. Alright. Now it's personal. <sighs> that is so satisfying. And that is so. What's the opposite of satisfying? Leave your favorites and them in the comments below. I will turn you into scrap metal. Pop on is too fucking far away. Don't think you can placate me with 80 synth pop. Good thing these guards aren't apparently paid to look down. Why does she have us do this? Good question. If you want to see more of me staring off into space, subscribe to the Gamazons. You can stop a little. You really think you're gonna talk your way out of this? Oh no, I know that it's my time. I just wanted to offer up a fair warning and say that you need to become aware of what's happening. Look, if every single mark that I pick up in the next month or so starts warning me about the dystopian nonsense that is behind the curtain, my job is going to get a lot more existential than I want. These spontaneous threats to a stable, secure government are a little too sudden and irrational, aren't they? If you can't see it, you're destined to become the next victim, if you aren't already. Look, I don't know what the hell you're talking about, because apparently Kate has never read Philip K. Dick. That's fine, you can finish your job now and hopefully it will become evident to you later. I just wanted to look out for you, since our kind aren't quite welcome here. And because I know what else has been going on, as soon as you soon will. Oh, I've got a job to do, and I've got no time to concern myself with this. But if it makes you feel better, I'll try to put a little thought and analysis into recent events. She won't. If you're not just messing with my emotions, that does mean a lot to me. Just keep one thing in mind. Never let anyone dismiss your struggles. That's actually good advice. And I love your lipstick, so double props for that. Um, well, nice knowing you. Okay, I guess we're going to just fade to black, and that feels like a good opportunity to go... Oh, shit. Cutscene. Alrighty, it's our favorite lady in black. <laughs> hey all, just got news of something big. How's the current meeting? Apparently a subordinate of ours went off and was prepared to like make a leak of our confidential security operations. As you know, such a leak would have endangered our citizens. We rely on trusty old security through obscurity here. Cause fucking rhymes, bitch. Anyways, they were in the basement of the office building with security forces guarding the facility. Fortunately, that person decided to call our wonderful police and confess to their wrongdoings. Justice is being carried out as we speak, and they're expecting a fair sentence. Uh-oh, could it possibly be that I'm a pawn for the dystopian government? Unlike the societies of past, we've learned that the best de deterrence of crime is in violence. It's a gunshot to the back of the head. Instead, it's our reputation for fair treatment to all. Now that's our lesson on how to turn a potential tragedy into something to be proud of. Later haters, and we're going to call the episode here as we walk casually back to our apartment building, pretending we didn't just murder someone again. And so if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to the Gamazon's channel so you can get the curricular updates every Wednesday. Once again, I am Joanna, that's Bob Div, and I will see you next Wednesday.